good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back with another 3D printing video so let's get cracking. Friends we are here with my GEE Tech A10T. Friends I put Marlin on it it's gonna sound loud but I'm gonna show you some cool things after it powers up. All right, so if you've ever heard me talk about how quiet my new printers are, it's because of how loud this beast is. So friends, this is the A10T. So friends, if we go through the menu to About Printer, of course, when we hit Printer Info, you can see that I have added Marlin Bug Fix 2.1. I put it on December 3rd of 2022. I'm also re-recording my voice because it's so darn noisy when I'm by the printer. Friends, today's video is all about the built-in extruders from that Marlin configuration. So right now, if we click and move down to print from media, I have got a tiny cube. Let me track it down. There it is, the CFFP1 cube, and I'm going to choose print. Now, when it loads, I'm going to cheat. Right now, it's heating the bed, and we're waiting on the nozzle before it starts to heat I'm gonna make that faster by tuning when I go to the nozzle I'm gonna get that close to the 230 that I use with these mixing projects let's get that nozzle heating and then when we back out I'm gonna spin to main when we choose mixer we're gonna go to the active V tool and right now it's on one and we could switch to two and we can print it when we go back and we go back, we can now wait and see what that gives us. And as you can see, we've got a bit of a yellow-red mix for number two. All right, friends, let's talk a little bit about this project. So these mixing extruders enter right there. And if you route yours differently than I did mine, that's going to change how the colors come through. And then also, those are the colors I'm working with, red, yellow, and blue. And like I said, they come into your extruders, however you've got them aligned. And then when you bring those hoses down, you get to pick which one goes where. As you can see, I've got blue to the back, yellow in the front, and red to the right on mine. Now friends, this is Visual Studio Code. I've got a whole tutorial that shows you how to find the latest Marlin and add it to your GE Tech A10M or A10T. If you're looking for that tutorial, I'll make sure it's up here. But right now I wanna show you this mixing area. So you can see right here, I have got the A10T configuration. And what I'm gonna do is Control F and I'm gonna type the word mixing. This takes us down to our mixing extruder code, line 353 on this version. Notice it adds an M63 and an M164. These are just comments that explain what's happening. This M163, 164, and then also later the M166 are pretty darn awesome. If you look at this, if enabled, it's going to define our mixing steppers. The A10T has three mixing steppers, and then it defines 16 virtual tools. It does not tell me the amount of mixing for those virtual tools. So that's why I'm doing today's project. We're going to see just what colors we get for all 16 or 15, as you can see I have on my A10T. And friends, these are the results. Of course, you saw two print. This is one where it's all yellow. Here we've got three, four, five, six, seven. And then this is where it gets crazy. Eight through 15, we're all 100% blue. All right, friends, so this is where I'm asking for help. If there are any Marlin experts out there, I would love to hear if there's an area where I should be able to determine what those mixing values are. 
I also find it interesting on this line that it mentions eight default VTool presets for the two or three mixing steppers. And as you can see up here, we're trying to define 16. I do also want to take a moment to remind you that I have a video about taking Kira and creating your own custom mix settings using the start code for the printer. If you're interested, I'll have a link to that in the cards of this video. Friends, as I wrap up this video, I just want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you can see, I've got the page about 3D printing. You can see all the printers that I have or have worked with here. And also down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in message until you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.